Hi, Chip Flory from Scraping Bottom Games here to introduce Victorum, an action RPG featuring destructible environments, a randomized world map, and dynamic spell shaping. As the legendary Firebrand, our character starts out with a fireball, which is great for taking out single enemies. To take on more enemies, I can shape fireball towards multi-shot on high explosive to turn the spell into a cluster bomb. Time slows while shaping, allowing you to plan how you'll best use a spell. Every structure in Victorum can be destroyed, and the rubble can be used to crush your enemies. We're on the warpath path to the Grand Inquisitor, who's responsible for destroying our order. Our enemies have blocked our progress, so to continue our journey, we'll need to destroy the three Aegis Crystals on this mountain. Our wizard can choose from dozens of movement, utility, and defensive abilities. That's two crystals down, and there's the Nexus across the way. In addition to being fully destructible, buildings are also filled with furniture and props. And occasionally loot. Oh, hi there. Nice sidestep, but I got more where that came from. Alright, let's take a look at some of the stuff I found. I've got a new pair of plate pauldrons that I'll throw on now. And seeing as how I just got played by that archer, I'm going to switch out my high explosive rune for Seek to help me with aiming, and keep high velocity and multi-shot. Alright, there's the final crystal. I'm going to fully shape towards high velocity, Seek, and multi-shot. That's it for this location. The Nexus is now exposed and its portal will take us out of here to the chapter map. Once there, the story progresses in our character's history, and we can review any event rewards and items that we've received. Only mountains are safe to travel in this world, but using the Nexus we can teleport to safety in the nearby mountains, ultimately progressing to the next chapter here at the Red Beacon. But the Endless Inquisition Legion is constantly chasing us. If they catch us, it will be a very challenging encounter and possible death. I'll select this location, which puts us closer to the chapter end and still ahead of the Inquisition. The randomly selected events at chapter locations usually have something interesting going on, often resulting in combat like we saw earlier. And that's the basics for Victorum. If you'd like to learn more about our game, check out victorum.com and keep an eye out for our release in August of 2017. Thanks for watching.